Hey folks, it's Duke here from GeoFolks. Today we're going to get into using ChatGBT for ArcGIS Pro. So we'll search OpenAI or ChatGBT in Google. Once we find a website, we can click it. So ChatGBT allows us to talk to an AI platform, which is really helpful for productivity, especially with tech, within technical disciplines. So ChatGBT can be used for GIS. When you're first signing up for ChatGBT, you have to go here and click try. If you have a login, you can log in here, but if not, you have to sign up, enter your email address, and continue the steps. Once you have logged in, it'll look like this. You'll have example questions. You have capabilities. And you have limitations presented in front of you. Over to your left, you can find your previous chats that you used. You have the option to clear conversations, upgrade to plus, go dark mode, updates, and FAQs, or log out. This is where you can ask chat GBT questions, and then you can hit this or press enter in order to execute those questions. So we'll start off with a simple question devised to help us start making our map. What are the elements of a map? So as we enter the question in, We'll see ChatGBT start to spit out a list of values that it considers the elements of a map. But for our purposes, we will only focus on title, legend, scale, compass, labels, symbols, and colors. So now that we understand, based on ChatGBT, what are the elements of a map, now we're going to decide how to make a simple map within our Jazz Pro. We're going to ask ChatGBT for steps. So we can see ChatGPT gave us simple and detailed steps to use to make a map within ArcGIS Pro, but we will just use the simple steps. So we'll open up ArcGIS Pro and you can see we have our GPT steps down here to the left below. We'll click on new project map. We'll decide where we want to save the map and we'll give the map a name. If you don't like where the map is defaulting to being saved, what you can do is you can click the browse button in this folder here and pick a new place to save it. But if you're okay with where it's being saved, you can click okay. Once you have the map open, we'll go to view and then catalog pane. We'll go to our step that says open a catalog pane. From there, we'll go to folders and then we'll go to our test data folder. So this is the folder in which you would put all your shape files and feature classes in that you would be adding to the map. So if we look at the right hand side of the screen, I'll give you a quick demonstration of how you can use the catalog pane to copy and paste features. You'll right click on a feature you wanna copy, you'll select copy, and then you'll go to the folder you wanna paste, right click on that and click paste. This is a quick way to move files and how you would ultimately, or one of the ways you can get the files you want in the folder you want. So another thing it asked us to do is to create a new map. So we can go up to the insert and click new map if we needed to. But since we did this at the start, we don't need to, but this is just to show you how to do it when you need it. Then it tells us to go to the map frame and click add data. So we'll right click on the word map within the contents pane, and then we'll click on add data. There, we can find the folder with our test data. So if we imported a hospital's feature class. So let's add another feature class, say banks. And we'll change the order so hospitals appear above banks. Now what we'll do is we'll symbolize the feature classes. So for the hospitals, we'll look up hospitals and see what symbols we have for it. We can do that by going up to the search box and typing in hospital. After we type it in, we can click enter and see the symbologies that they have for hospitals. Then we can look up symbologies for banks. I accidentally changed the symbology for hospitals to the symbology that I want for banks. So what I'll do is I'll click the symbology for bank. I'll go over to the symbol and then I'll edit it. I'll type in banks 
and then I'll find what I use for banks and I'll use that for the new symbol for banks. Then I'll go back to my symbol for hospitals and then I'll change that back to what I originally wanted. Ideally, the symbols would stand out differentiating each feature within the map so you can use colors and shapes to do this. Once we have the symbology as we want it, we can go up top and hit the save button or hit control S on your keyboard to save the project. I recommend saving often. That way you don't lose map data during a software crash. And so the simplistic chat GBT steps end at this point, but I'd like to show you how to create a map layout. That way you can print the map or export it as a PDF. So we'll go up to the insert tab. We'll click new map layout. Click the letter within landscape format. We'll go to insert again. We'll click the map frame and we'll click the icon that looks like the map we just created. We can touch anywhere and this will give us an active map frame with the map we just created. We can drag it to scale it to the size of the page we just added, the layout we just added. One thing you can do is right click on your map frame and click activate. This will allow you to scale in and out by zooming in and out and panning. Once you're done with the scale change or the pan, you can click the X to exit out. This will help you scale the map and get it to the reference frame you want it to be in. Okay, now to add more things. We can go back to insert, and then we can add a north arrow. You can toggle down and select from different north arrows, but I'll use this one. Again, back to insert, and we can add a legend. I'll choose this one. To drag and move these various elements, while it's selected, you can pick them and place them where you need them to be. So now we'll add a scale bar. When you resize the scale bar, it will accurately change to depict the scale of the map. Now we'll add a title. I prefer to use the graphic within a box. So here, if we select this one, we can then draw a title box. So I'll give this map a title. And then I'll edit this title box to make it stand out more and to make it more title-like. I also misspelled the word, so I'll correct that as well. So we can right click on the title box. We can go here, we can fix our spelling. We can go to text symbol. We can go to appearance and we can change the size of the text. We can apply it by hitting yes here or within the properties. So we'll right click and go back to the properties. Go to the text symbol. This time we'll center the words. We'll click apply. Back within the properties. We'll now change the background. So I'll change the outline color to white. And so there we have it, a title box that stands out a bit more. Okay, now that we have these elements, let's do some labeling. So let's go to Hawaii, and we'll right click on the feature, Hawaii Hospitals, and we'll click Labeling Properties. So we see it's displaying the feature unique ID. We don't want that. We want it to display the name. So we can delete that and then double click on the name. So now we can display the labels by right clicking on the feature and hitting label. So we'll go back to the label and properties to make the label stand out more. We'll go to symbol and then we'll give the label a halo by clicking the halo toggle down. We'll change the color from nothing to white, and we'll click Apply. 
And so this allows the labels to stand out a bit more as well. We'll go to appearance then. And then we can make the font of the labels bigger. Click apply. That's a big too big, so we'll make them smaller. And if we wanted to, we can change the text, the font style to bold. Okay, now the labels stand out a bit more. And in total, we have a simple map that ChatGBT helped us to make. So we use ChatGBT as an educational resource to help us increase proficiency in the software. So let's say we want to export this map now. We can go up to Share. We can click Export Layout. This will then bring up this dialog box in which you can pick a place to save it. And then you can click Export. Alternatively, you can go back to the Share tab and you can print the layout. Just ways to get your maps out of ArcGIS Pro. Thanks for watching, and be sure to stay tuned as we use ChatGBT for Python analysis in ArcGIS Pro. If you found this video helpful, please like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more content.